Hey guys, welcome back to Man of Madon Part 6. When we left off last time, we had Brad and I believe Julia falling down into this creepy uh, basement corridor thing. So here we go. We're going to hop right back into it. Let's get started. Uh, I'm just going to tell him we're okay. We're okay. What are we going to do? We're going to have to find the generator. If we can get it started, we can power up the radio. Okay. We'll wait here by the radio. Here. Hey. After you. No, I insist. After you. Ladies first. No? Fine. Okay. Guessing these are the lower levels of the ship. The sick bay. I guess that's where we're headed right now. Whoa, actually, hold up. You know, enjoy this. What the hell are you talking about? Well, it's a cool ghost ship, that's any what. Other circumstance. You know, this place. Alright, let's see what we got here. Monday, Arthur Miller, private. Petty theft one day brig, small items belonging to senior officer found in Miller's locker. Items recovered and returned to owner. Wednesday, David Davis, private, trespassed two days brig, found off limits in cargo hold 3A with no reason to be there. Flagrant disregard for orders. Friday, uh, PFC Lewis brand public intoxication one day, Brig found drunk and acting inappropriately for U.S. Army personnel while on shore leave. Robert Reed public intoxication one day, Brig found drunk and acting inappropriately for U.S. Army personnel while on shore leave. Okay. Saturday, Charles Anderson private. Aw, oh, Charles. Huh. Public intoxication brawling What's 10 days, Brig. Joe sick bay. Found drunk and acting inappropriately for U.S. Army personnel while on shore leave. Yada yada, same thing, except for medical treatment prior to internment. Alright. Any more secrets in here? Nothing in the creepy little cell? Alright, fine. Oh, there is something right here, though. Wait. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Almost missed this. And who doesn't love more reading? I mean, come on. Some sort of altercation. In that private Charles Anderson, on leave from duty, did display intoxication of men on becoming... Wait, didn't I already read this? Ten thing? days on the brig. I already read oh. this, like, first episode. He must have really blown his lid to get that kind of time. This is day one stuff. Laddie. Except for this, because I have to look at everything. Oh, it's open now. I remember this was locked. Medical officer's report. Minutes of meeting between scientist X, CWO Walter Bishop, and CWO Tom Palmer, with Sergeant Peter Wood observing an N X for meeting with our team and says we can mutually learn for the same thing the Western world must be protected from. The United States has been aware of certain agencies investigating the chemical and biological agents in warfare. Our act, limited by the Geneva Protocol, have experiments we are unable to... Oh, secret! Describes an investigation during to test the effects on human subjects of the molecule crystal structure hallucinogens codenamed Manchurian Gold. Chemical munitions? Battle. It was, even relatively minor, observed to trigger significant hallucinations. Men highly convincing, subjects seeing and hearing things that really were not there. Even the, the danger, sorry, was manifold and in its intensity. Oh my god, it's so hard to read it like that. <laughs> Alright. And I did want to say sorry for not uploading any sooner. I've had a lot of trouble with my car recently and there's about a million things wrong with it. So... 
I've just been a little busy lately. But we're back, so. It's all good now. We're here to find more secrets. Oh no, oh my. <sighs> here, come check this out. Look, down there. My disease got the best of me. I clicked it because it was shiny. Like Good place to find the generator, right? Let's just. The ladder's broken off here. Oh shit. I think I can just. Wait! Are you okay? Yeah. Uh, all good. Just come down. Brad the warrior. Respect, man, respect. Alright, let's just assume we didn't miss anything up there. Oh, God. What's up? That, it, 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 it was... Jesus. What? Did you see it? Um, hello? Julia, fuck you. Okay, so, I, so I'm seeing things, but you're not. Okay, so follow my thinking here. We know this ship is carrying the Manchurian gold, but that was really some sort of hallucinogenic bioweapon developed in China during World War II. And we know that it was super unstable. And leaked all over the ship. So maybe it's still here? Maybe it hasn't dispersed after 70 years and it's having the same effect on us, you know? Paranoid hallucinations. All this crazy shit we're seeing, none of it's real. The crew was hallucinating. We know they were scared of something, and the officers thought it was just a bunch of jumpy GIs trying to get out of guard duty. This isn't a ghost ship, it's a floating bio. -wide. Wow. This couldn't have anything to do with the plane wreck we dived. Okay, so the plane was a search and rescue. It came out here because the people on this ship sent a distress signal. We know that. But I guess at that point, the fog had done its damage. And for whatever reason, they shot the plane down. I mean, who knows what the hell they were thinking or thought they saw. This is why Brad's my favorite God. character. All right, let's Straight get Straight up. This is exactly why. Man's a genius. He just is. All right, let's check this out. Van Linden Engine Works, Rotterdam, Nederland, diesel engine, number 1734, year 1920, type L87C-SE. Alright. Nope, can't touch all the dangerous buttons that say caution. Um, okay, let's just see if... You know what I miss right now? Oh, uh, you know what, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is why we search everything. I'm just, I love the secrets, I really do. <laughs> All right, let's check out this book. Oh, that's a lot of reading. I'm not gonna do it, just pause the video if you uh, really wanna go into depth with it. Oh my gosh, though. Ugh, so much stuff. Look at this. The ship was actually anchored. I wonder why. Ah, uh, well that's it. I love when the characters in the game understand more than me as the actual player. Alright, well, at least we found a little journal entry thing. That's good. Makes me feel better about not checking everything up top. What do we got over here? Nothing. Alright, Brad. You're my favorite character. I'm not gonna let you die, no matter what. I promise you that. Hold up. Hey, hey, I found it! Oh, shoot, I went the- God. You never it's know working. in this game. You never know. Yep, this is it, all right. Just throw the switch and let's get back upstairs. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna get electrocuted. 
It's over. Okay, let's get back upstairs. There's gotta be another way up. Wait, whoa, why the bearing <gasps> update? Oh, because we jumped down with Brad. But we have it back. Can you hear me? Over. I remember. Come on, Alex. We need help now. There are things on the ship that are trying to hurt us. Over. Our recovery mission is being prepped. Please see what side of the vessel you're on. Over. We're on a freighter, abandoned, huge, and old. Help is on the way. Bearing up, did it again. Work, damn it. Um, let's check over here. I did want to see what was over here. Whoa. Look at this! The rebreather! There we go! The fisherman must have buttered over from the Duke of Milan. You think it still works? Looks like it's got a little juice left. Maybe a couple of minutes? Uh oh. Should we bring it with us? I mean, it's heavy. Swim Just shadowing. Nah, we're taking it. You crazy? Half the ship is submerged. Could be a life save. Take a chill pill. Écoute moi. Non. Fais pas ça. Regarde. Oh. Je t'avais dit de fermer ta gueule. Oh fuck. Guy's gone insane. Oh, that's what we need for the Duke of Milan. going crazy. I almost fucked that up so bad. I literally clicked A as soon as it popped up. Why would he do this? I don't know. We have to be very careful. He's crazy as a shit house rat. I know we're supposed to get the thing, but hold on. Alright, fine, Wait. fine. I think we should try to avoid that. Yeah. Uh-oh. It's in specs. Oh! <laughs> yeah, that one's on me, guys. I, I might have tried to get our characters killed. <laughs> Uh. There's no use hiding, you little fucks. Hey, that's very mean. What's the problem with sharing all that gold, eh? There must be plenty of that to go around, more than enough. And we're all in this together, right? It's not that kind of gold. To cut me out of the deed. You can have it all, straight up. I'm cool with that. Can't have all the gold, and I'm to be left here to die. 
Alright, don't be so jumpy. It messes up my concentration. Also, me talking is not a good idea. Okay, calm down. He's breathing down our necks. Please tell me you have an escape plan. We can't risk moving yet. Just need to watch and wait for an opening. Ah, the smug Americans have smashed their way into a foreign land and come up short. The generators are on. Oh, thank fuck. I don't know how I did that. <laughs> Brad, being assertive, taking charge, and saving lives. Love you, man. We're gonna get through this together. Wait, wh when did he get here? Okay, hold on. Give me a second. There we go. Are we safe? Please tell me we're safe. How would I know? Yeah, totally. I mean, these doors were meant to withstand all sorts of. Stuff. <laughs> okay. What? Okay. None of you move. Whoa. None of you go on changing on me now. Turn around. Slow. Okay. Very slow. Okay. All right. Okay. Not changing. None of that. Raise your hands up. Slow. It's okay, Junior. Just take a deep breath, all no, right? No, not like that. What? I said, no changing. Oh no, Just he's psycho. Put the gun down. Nobody has to get hurt. You think I wanted to hurt anybody? I didn't get a choice in this, did I? It's in you too, isn't it? Isn't it now? Oh no. Changing. Stay away. Stay back from the mist. What? There's no the mist, mist, man. I can't believe it. There's someone behind him, and now he's gone. The mist. Why can't we breathe the mist? What does it do? It's life. Bringing things to life that shouldn't be alive. It's inside now. Inside with us now. Please just calm down. Stop. Stop. It's in one of us, isn't it? It's in you. Put the gun down now. Why would you say that? Oh God. Why are you telling me what to do? Yeah, you breathe in the mist. It's happening. I can feel it. Okay, all, all right, look, I, there was, you know, something back there, uh, maybe a mist or fog, maybe? I knew it. I told you. Did you breathe it in? No. Yeah, no. No, look, we held our breath. We did not breathe any of that stuff. <laughs> oh, really? Yes, my dude. I know you're all fancy divers, but you expect me to buy that? I do, that's why I said it. We've been down here for hours. You've been holding your breath this whole time. I'm very talented. You're holding your breath right now. Wait, 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 wait. We have a rebreather. Oh my god, it worked. What? It came in handy. We've been using it to get the mist out of us. You know, we could use it on you too, okay? No, 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 no. Oh. You keep that thing away from me. No, Junior. It's in me. I got the mist in me, don't I? Yes, shoot yourself. It's in me, isn't it? Yes. 
I can feel it swelling around in there. You will be missed. It's gently. Not by me. On the inside. But by some of the people watching. Grab pistol. We need the breathing gear! This has just been a take charge adventure for Brad. Oh my gosh. Yo, are you okay? It's all gone changing on me. Achievement unlocked. Oh god. Look at Brad stepping up to the plate. My favorite character right there, stepping up. I'm proud of him. I am. Alright, now we're Alex. I'm really glad that Brad went down there with Julia we now. Have radio. Bye. I'm gonna check the next level. There might be some more gear down there we can use. Uh... I'm not going far. Just wait by the radio. Wait, what? I hate these. Why is this guy here? Someone, please answer me. Oh, okay. Fliss? Oh, okay. The, the, the big guy. He had the distributor cap. Is that someone behind us? What? what? No! I straight saw someone. Oh, shoot. We don't have a flashlight either. Okay. It's okay, Olsen. Just. Let's take a deep breath and. Calm down. <laughs> Trying to quick peek this like in Rainbow Six. Oh no, what's that? Does it matter? We need that distributor cap. He's right. Here! He had to have come this way. Difficult at all. Oh no. Sorry, Fliss. Oh, there's something here. Oh, the mist. The mist is back. He dropped a sledgehammer. That's good. just died. Oh. Wait. No, come with me, Flip. I I am too scared to do this alone. I need someone by my side. 
I can I can do this. I'm Alex. I'm brave. Nothing scares me. Oh no. No, no, no. The ghost demon wants us. Get in there, Alex. What are you doing? Jesus, man. Oh no. Ew. Fuck. Ugh. Guy's been dead for like 10 seconds. You're already eating him alive? Well, not alive. Do that. Eating him dead? You just get lucky. Oh, hell no. Nah. Yeah, throw it off. My X button got stuck for a second. Okay, get off! What? What? Why did the bearing update? Please be a good one. Alright, Alex. You got this. talking about that uh I'll be back ah! no stop it okay I um I fucked up ah! uh, I fucked up okay I fucked up all right it's just I- whatever. I don't even care. I didn't- This it. <sighs> no! No, Alex! No, 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 no! Oh my god! Yeah, he's oh dead. God. Yeah, okay, okay, whatever. I- Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's- I am so mad. I, I tried to go back and it saved as soon as I made the choice. <sighs> that... What? Whatever, whatever. Just... <sighs> Next play mentality. I just gotta move on. Sorry, Alex. When you think about it, it's not my fault at all. So, I mean, that was a 50-50 guess, if you ask me. I... Of course. I bet you that was the last fucking thing we had to make as a choice. All right. Let's try it. I... 
actually hate myself. I, I'm... Right. So sorry, Alex. Is that Conrad? I don't care, Conrad. Just go back in time and bring Alex back. Well, that was Man of a Dawn. <laughs> I feel shortchanged. Did I get Conrad killed too? I don't understand what happened there. What's up, my dude? That's it. Game over. You're done. For now, at least. I want you Alex. try again. See if you can't do better next time around. Well, I would only change one decision, so. Impressive. Almost everyone survived. I tried. I... Almost. I know. It's all about decisions, isn't it? Decisions made in a hurry, in a panic, made with the heart instead of the head, or vice versa. There was no right choice. Sometimes those decisions take a long time to have repercussions. But there are repercussions. There are always repercussions. Ugh. Till we meet again. Maybe in Little Hope, maybe somewhere else. But be certain, we will meet again. It's inevitable. I told you I love the way he says it. Inevitable. Inevitable. I love that, man. All right, so. I'll let the credits play. It, it was a good game. I enjoyed it a lot. Personally, I did prefer Until Dawn a lot more, but I will say that it was a good game. Um, other than that last decision, which I felt was kind of bullshit, not gonna lie. Um, I mean, it's it's kind of just a guess, you know? And when you think about it, well, if the rat went through his chest like that, he was gonna die anyways. So it made more sense to bet on knifing the other thing. But I genuinely thought that it was our friends, like his brother and his girlfriend. So I just, 
I didn't realize he would stab himself so aggressively, you know? I thought he would just kind of like get the head of the, the rat and, oh, he, he knifed his shirt a little bit, you know? Or he knifed the air. But he went extreme and, I don't know. It, I, oh, I was already frustrated to start the recording and now this just made it so much worse. I'm really sorry. I, um... I know I messed that up. I really do. Anyways, like I said, I enjoyed the game. I did. I was a little slow to finish it off. I didn't realize it was uh, so short, actually. But it was fun nonetheless. Ugh. Some raise their chest, others cower when it comes Whether you're living in the towers or down in the slums I wonder if there's anything after the credits I'll um... I'll just end the video already if there isn't, but... If there is, we will experience it together Anyways, um... I hope you enjoyed the... The series, it was fun, it was other than that last decision. But yeah, it was really fun. And I'll definitely play more and I'll show you guys everything about the game that I possibly can. But um... I'm sure everyone already beat me to it. But if you want that personal touch of uh... The Dev I-150, I got you guys. Anyways. I'll see you guys in a second if uh, there is after credits. Take a moment to reflect on. Think of all the things in your life that you slept on. Or slip through your fingers like Teflon. Cause you lost your focus steady. Think about the next dawn. Saying that the next dawn you make things better. But you didn't get a chance to make your reparations. Better make some preparations. But if you're not ready yet, death comes for all of us, my friends. So you better get. The only real complaint was I felt it was lacking in the character development department, which I felt like Until Dawn strived at. That was one of their biggest strengths. I loved the characters, but this one, it felt a little shortchanged with a lot of them. Oh, okay, I'll, I'll shut up now. Conrad. <laughs> I have no idea. I just saw someone in the woods. Wait, what? Whoever it was, they're gone. What is this? Okay, very good. Who's there? I found her with my own hand. What? Oh, in Little Hope! Is that gonna be DLC or the next Dark Pictures Anthology game? 2020. I'll definitely play that. Just because of my love of horror and respect for Until Dawn. Anyways, that's gonna be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys later.